Hi, this is Mina Caputo. And Alan Robert. And Joey Z from Life of Agony, and you're watching Loudwire. Loud And we've seen uh, trans musicians like Laura Jane Grace come out and really become advocates mm -hmm. for that cause. You know, she's written a book, she's on The Daily Show, I mean, really getting out there and becoming a... Yeah, she's got a great marketing team. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going to say, you know, is, is that a, a part of, I guess, culture that you want to be a part of, is to, to be a, like a public advocate for trans issues? Well, I think just by being me, I already am one. I'll do what I can. I've been doing what I can. I, I help people privately. I have many fans that have uh, come out to me personally. I have many fans that are married with their children that have trans children, and I'm directing them with hmm. um, things I don't really talk about on, on, on Twitter because, uh, I mean, you know, I don't need to prove to the world how much I'm doing for my community. Sure. And just do it. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just doing it. I don't, you know. There's people, I think, that do definitely a far greater job than I could, like Janet Mock or Laverne Cox and people like that. And yes, Laura's doing incredible work, but I'm not really asked. Glad's mm -hmm. not coming to me. Um, when I'm asked, I'd be happy to help. You know, I help a lot of suicide victims um, with some trans hotline stuff that I don't go, you know, bragging about. But I help people every day, one person at a time. But I really got to help myself so the world around me can be a better world and people can see where I've arrived, how well I'm doing, how amazing my life has become how strong I've become, how resilient, how thorn-like I've become, even though I'm a rose bush. When Ellen asks me on her show, I'll be happy to do it. But she hasn't asked me yet, so. She's gonna call you now. Yeah, yep. when uh, That'd be cool. Oprah mm -hmm. wants me on her show, like Janet Mock, I'll be happy to, to do it, but I haven't been asked, so. Sure. Uh, it's on, only cutie boys like you <laughs> oh boy. X me on no, X, X, X me on this show we're happy but, to have yeah. you here Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. But, uh, so speaking of the ugliness that can come your way I think it's sort of devolved these days on how I think uh, trans people are sort of being treated like gay people were 50 60 years ago has yeah. they're seeing this as mental illness yeah. you know uh, strictly as something that can be cured. That you well, a dysphoria. Through. It is dysphoria. I mean, uh, in, a, in a sense, but that doesn't mean that you can just go Not to a necessarily. doctor. Not necessarily. No? I mean, it, it all depends on who you are and how you view life. I don't think it, I, I never thought of it as a, as a dysphoric. I never thought of it as a crutch. I only thought of it as a crutch because that's what society taught me. There's been a great paradigm shift and the, the people who who don't believe in equal rights, who don't believe in same sex, who don't believe that the human being can change into whatever it wants, and we're shapeshifters. We're not the only ones. The clownfish, in, 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 in the male's late years, the clownfish turns female. Mm -hmm. The male seahorse fertilizes itself and bears its young and takes care of the young. There's swallowtail butterfly, there's all different kinds of butterfly species that go from male to female, female. I mean, this is nature, this is the chaos of nature. But in our Western world, we've been so derailed from the beauty of our own nature, the beauty of our own sex, of our bodies, that people, most people, are, are not celebrating the self. They're not honoring the self, they're not honoring the the limitlessness of self's journey and and where we can take it there are no rules on this planet they try to enforce these imaginary rules but there are no rules this is a wild 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 fucking world man and it's getting more and more wilder and you you can only keep the mystery down of what it means to be human and this planet for so long. Right now, this is what's going on. The world's busting at its seams because the world knows it's being driven in an unnatural direction 
Mm. And and this is why there's so much political tension, so. yeah. re religious tension. It's not working. These systems are not working for the people anymore. The p political paradigm hasn't worked in over 100 years. The religious paradigm hasn't worked in fucking 500 years. All that all religion has been doing is is creating fear, oppression, more hatred, separation. more separation, more pedophile, more fucking sick bastards, you know, with, with the pedophile bullshit, more child trafficking. This is what goes on in the institution. This is the problems the world should be, our world leaders should be focusing on. Not preventing a lady like me from, you want me coming into the guy's room? I don't care. <laughs> well, I asked the wrong question to the wrong person, but anyway, I mean, you know. Yeah, it wouldn't bother me. I don't care. Well, I fucking care, and you know, there's, uh, yeah, I'm born anatomically a man, but that's the whole point of what is a man? What is a woman? What does it mean to be human? You know, it's like we're, we're forever growing, you know? We're for, forever metamorphosizing, we're forever evolving. The people who de-evolve get left behind mm -hmm. real fast. The world's not gonna wait up. If you don't have an open mind to new ideas, you're stuck in the same place. Yeah. And that's just that's a good point. And there's, you know, the, look, everyone, is built differently, right? Physically and mentally, and emotionally, right? And if you're not open to accepting someone for being different, then that's the way you were made. Yeah, you that's that fine. And shut the fuck up <laughs> and don't like but you how, know. But how can you dictate right. what someone else can do, right? Agreed. Yeah. It's not and like let's you. be real. All these lawmakers that are, are enforcing all these fucked up laws on all these people, they're the first people that are getting their dick sucked by a transsexual or a gay guy <laughs> or you know they you have their it. they have their it. political parties the big pile of coke on the table you got yeah. the boy toys in the chains <laughs> who you call it's getting his dick sucked you know what i mean they party harder than Please. Rock stars. Yeah. <laughs>